so that was the take right there for the um, show. I was down at the ABC where I was. I gave the State of the Union to Doug McIntyre, who works at 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. on our favorite AM station, KBC Talk Radio. And I was down there to give him my book just because I wanted not only to wish him a Merry Christmas, not only because I want to become one of the radio producers for the network, not only because I want to be on his show, not only because I listen to his show, but I want him to read the book. So in case you haven't read the book or heard of jamestowncallop.com, Merry Christmas. Also, we're talking about Huckleberry Finn, how he pretty much insulted the entire state of Utah. Tom Tam Credo resigned today. I think that Huckleberry should do the same thing. Also, in other news, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger now trying to redeem himself, challenging the New Environment Act. That is what we were talking about in World War II, which is my second book, when states decide to get cleaner, what will the government do? So it's important that the media stops competing against the media, jamestowncallop.com, and starts working with me. Like I said, you're either with me or you're not. Because when I do become president, I'm going to remember some of the cool people and not so cool people in the media, and I'm going to compete on a national level while I'm in office to get sponsors because you need sponsors. Ratings are down because most of your talent sucks and people don't have the economic capital that they did a few years ago. I was burned on World War II with my car, my economic stature, but it's only my excuse with my situation, my car. Now for other people, I can only imagine the stress that is going on while these knucklehead candidates want to discuss and insult other people, such as Mike Puckleby and his comments, apology on the situation room. I found it totally unacceptable, illegitimate, not genuine, and not impressive one bit. The fact that not only did he mention those comments, the fact that he apologized because he knows that he's getting a little bit of media love but the bottom line is, no one is going to vote for you in California. And if you don't win California, you don't win the ticket. Thank you very much. That's going to wrap up the Jamestown, North Carolina show. James, you are an independent strategist. We're talking about the Lakers report. Also, Tom Tancredo, his pretty much, or his campaign is now in the refrigerator. The doors close, the lights out, the butter's getting hard. The jello's jiggling. And we're